Morning, boys and girls. How are we on this fine morning? Been hot, hasn't it? Bloody hell, it's been hot. Look, I got my microphone locked for my iPhone, but I didn't realise, you know, in like when you read the small print, look, it's got a picture there of an adapter lock went into an iPhone. That's what the picture was on the front when I bought it. Uh, but it says, need original 3.5 millimetre lighting adapter. So I still haven't got my microphone for my bloody phone. So I've had to buy that now, waiting for that. And as well, through the struggle as postbox, Danny G got me that. Cheers, Danny! Cushy little do. Top man lot. Look at this beauty lot. Look at that, eh? It says, I hope, uh, I hope Kelly will be all right about it. Yeah, Kelly will be all right, Danny. She'll be all right about it. And we've got some of else through the post box as well. Feels heavy. It's like Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh, the little do. We've got some brake and clutch cleaner. Here's a fucking. I do need brake cleaner. You're right. That's a bloody good thing to send me, that is. That can go in my little squirty thing, what I've got. Bloody good idea. Right, uh, what else have I got to say? Oh, yeah, it's a scorcher, isn't it? Fuck it, I've been lucky uh, so far this week. I haven't really had to do much because I've had our birthday. So we've just been taking it easy, me and our birthday. Uh, obviously, we're ginger haired, aren't we, and fair skin, so too much sunlight and, and we just shrivel up, we do. <laughs> Isn't it? We've got, to, we've got to stay out of bright light. Bright light, bright light! Ah! Don't worry, plenty of sun cream. Oh, it has though, yesterday. I feel sorry for you lads and you girls that are working. Hey, whew. Oh, I've got to start work now. Uh, I've got some inspections to do. I'm going to take that hub of Scotty's, that broken JCB up. I'm going to go and uh, see Stuart at Hutchinson's at Sutton. They're an engineering firm. Uh, and see if it's, uh, see what he reckons, see if it's worth welding it or not. Because they're the experts. An exit has been a spurt strip under pressure, I know. Uh, what else have we got to do? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Let's just play it by ear. Our little birdie, she's one years old tomorrow. One years old already. I can't believe it. Time flies, doesn't it? Nanny and Grandad, they bought her a little ride-on tractor, electric tractor. One of them that you can remote control. You know what I mean? A little red tractor. She's going to love that, she is. Little birthday girl. She's a little beauty. My little birdie is. Right, come on, go to the shop. Oh, I forgot to put my fucking owl. I couldn't out there to do that. Oh. Right, get out another go. Right, come on, stop messing around now. Let's go. That breeze is bloody lovely. Chris. Hello, Dad. Hey. All right. Come on, I've got some taters for dinner. How's our birdie? Oh, so you managed to cook up, to, up, up to get some milk. Oh, shit. Hey. I'm gonna go and get some drinks now. First from the shop. Gotta keep plenty of liquid, Dad, don't we? All right, right, I'll see you in a bit, Dad. I've just seen my Auntie Sue there at the shop. I said, I hope you're uh, keeping nice and cool in this weather, Sue. She said, I haven't been out the house yesterday. I went out in the morning, and that's it. I shut all my blinds, shut all my curtains, and I just stayed inside all day. I said, I know, yesterday, me and the kids went in the pond and I got out of that pond and I tell you what, it was just like being hit in the face with a hairdryer. That's exactly what it was like. Because the wind, it was windy, but the wind was that warm, it was just like having a hairdryer in your face. And I know what a hairdryer feels like in your face because I have to dry my hair all the time. Don't I? I do. Yeah, I do. You know what, I do. Because I've got that much... Come on, belt. Goodness sake, man. So I've got that much hair, you see. Who's that beeping? 
cool for cats. Hey, there you go. Ha ha, you've gone. Inspecting your lorries. All of them. I had a more important job. I was on daddy daycare service. I've just Googled it. Yeah, it was the hottest day ever recorded uh, yesterday. 41 degrees, that was it? Coningsby. I don't know. Midlands got it worse anyway. We got it worse. We're good like that, you see? What's the old saying? One man's rubbish is another man's gold. Uh, I'm going to take these wheelbarrow wheels off. Look. One, two, three, four. Four wheelbarrow wheels chucked in the scrap, all inflated as well. Taking them off and having them. I'll tell you what else they might come handy for and all, don't you? Wheelbarrow wheels. <laughs> right. Well, they could do. You could use them as wheelbarrow wheels then. People I've known to use them as wheelbarrow wheels before. You can call me stupid. Yeah. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. You're in trouble, D. Look at me camera stand, look, standing proud up there. We're looking at him while he's looking back at us, isn't he? Bloody good show, Danny. Right, what my plan is now, because his other lorries ain't going to be in for another hour and a half or so, I'm going to uh, nip to Partick, take back this starter motor, go and pick up some parts what I need, add blue cap, other stuff, then go to Hutchinson, see how Stuart about this hub, and then come back here. That's the way it goes. You fell once more, haven't you? Seems to like staring at the floor, that iPad. <laughs> there you are. You wait till I get my new mic. You won't be falling over there. Where is my phone? It's here. I've got to watch I've got my phone all the time now, haven't I? I was just thinking, and all you know, you know, I'm going on this skin flint challenge again next year. I'm going to Austria. Uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, one of the lads sent me a picture of like a military vehicle, which would be ideal, but it's not going to have seats, has it? And now I'm thinking that I'll do it in a like a bus. Not like a massive bus. I mean like a, I don't know, like a little bus type of thing. Because then the idea is, is to adapt the bus into like a camper as well. So then after the skin flint challenge, I can still use it, can't I? as a purpose, then we can go camping and that in it, in the little bus camper van thing, can't I? So if any of you guys know anyone that has, I only want like a, a, a shitty thing that I have to do up obviously, like a spares and repairs kind of bus, because I haven't got mega money, I, I have hardly anything. <laughs> so if any of you guys know of one, let me know in the comments, will you? I could do with one. An old fixer-upper I could do with. It's a bit of a fixer-upper. Hillbilly's day out on the bus. Bloody good. Oh, sick of that iPad. Sick of your iPad! Right, take the starter back. There's a choice of caps, obviously. There's always a choice, isn't there? We've just gambled. Right, off to shows now. Go and see our Stuart about this hub. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to just gear to go, obviously. As he said, uh, it, it, it doesn't give it much hope. But we can but try, can't we? It's buggered anyway. We may as well bugger it even more. Passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Just said that burger man was here yesterday. He said, Oh no, no, no. He said, I wouldn't have done no good anyway. Nobody would have stopped, would they? Oh, I feel I feel... Too hot, boys, wasn't it? We're just not equipped for this weather, are we? You know what I mean? We're just not equipped for it. What weather are we equipped for? Because we're not equipped for hot weather. We're not equipped for cold weather. We're not equipped for wet weather. <laughs> We're just not equipped for any weather. The good old English, not equipped for any weather. Let's go do these rest these inspections. Hey! My bloody roof nearly went down the window. Bloody hell! Can you imagine if my roof blown out that window? I'd be lost without my roof, wouldn't I? Ah, you know, while I'm up my neck of the woods, I'm going to go and see our Carlito, see if we can plug into the old struggle bus. Because I've still got my ABS light on, my traction control light on, and my power brake symbols on, and it's not going in to bloody cruise control, is it? So let's go and see our Carlito, see if we can plug onto the struggle bus quick. See if we can diagnose my problem with the bus. The power bus. Power struggle bus. Come on, let's make you better. Need to get the bus some medicine, don't we? Hey, you've gone again. I can hear him. Right, what have we got here then? Ignition is on. There's a fucking engine light. Let's see what we're talking about. What you reckon, Carlito? Let's have a look at this. Cool cruiser. calls here to sort hey, the struggle love. bus out. Have a look what we're reading, bro. Right. Plug on. Plug it on. No, back Plug the machine. What, uh, what year is she, bro? Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 15 plate. Yes, it, motherfucker. 15 plate. Service with a smile. Daylight. Uh, what's your 3 litre, 2.3. Yeah, it will be, yeah. So when it's until I break. Come put me out of bed, so it must be too much. Oh right? motherfucker. Speed sensor general failure. Front right speed sensor general failure. So we've got two issues here, my brother. Are they both active? I know. Never a good thing. Right. I think we've got to have a quick drive. What? Well, it's coming up. There? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it, Doc, huh? Literally, let's bring Buzz up uh, on this lane here just to see, get some live uh, live digits from the beast. Lot of Carlitos. Hey, there, Sugar, uh. how you doing? <laughs> Cue the cool music, Carl's on board. Diddly did, diddly did. did. <laughs> go, go, okay, stop there. What? Now, uh, forward split. Okay, stop there. Where you are. My brother from another mother. Right, one more time then, brother. Can we go backwards? Backwards? Yes, please. There's a blue transit van behind me. Does it matter? No? Cool. Okay, stop. Now go forwards. Yes, you basically, it's looking to me like your speed sensor, the front of faulty. Both of them? Yep. Both speed wheel sensors, bro. Damn it. You're not getting a goddamn thing. Now, parkers are quite good for bits and bobs like this. Yeah, um, it is saying that it is an electrical issue. So you've got an electrical fault with... with you reckon sensors. it's fucking... Try one first. Do yeah. this iPhone first. This iPhone one first. Simple yeah. as that. Disconnect it, it should only be a two pin. Disconnect it. You can either check for resistance. Yeah, just to spin it. it and fucking... Spin it, just see any, any figures. 
um, or just order a sensor for it, change one side, come back to me, I plug in, plug in yeah. see if we've got active, active yeah, motions. Yeah, put two new sensors, should it go out if I go it, over a thing? Oh, it should, mate. Might I need to fucking plug in. Personally, I would just, I'd put, you'd have to clear it off. Yeah, oh, well, I... But personally, change one, check for resistance, change one, and then bring it back so we can see actually movement on this. Get some live data, is that all right? Cheers, colleague. To the bitch -overs. Take it easy. Hey? I'll get through, won't I? I don't want to bang into your fucking beast. Cole's got his fucking Ranger over there. Oh, the V8. There she goes, Carlito. Check resistance, change one. Come back and see me, get live data. All right, you just see a bit. Catch you a bit. I have got a uh, an ABS tester thing there. It tests resistance in it. Where you unplug the ABS, plug this thing in, this machine in, spin your wheel, and it should tell you if it's getting a signal back. Did you see that? Orange reflective coat there. Brand spanker. Hey? Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Good find that, innit? Hey, dude, iPad. See ya. <laughs> Slippy iPad. Take that load and then it's coming back. Look, I've got this beast lot. Just needs a battery in it. And it just so happens I have got a box of batteries. There. Look at that. Nine little volters. <laughs> just gonna run it up these uh, bits of wood. What the fuck? Engine management lights on that. Right, I'll try disconnecting that battery. There's only a bin lock there, lock, but that should be no odds to that. Is it just coincidence that Carlito plugged onto it now it's fucking dead? On there. No, not in this there either. Try her again. He said, right, check your fuel pump inertia switch. He says, Google it, see what where it is. He's not sure where it is on this van. Well basically what he's saying is is if it gets a bang, a bad bang, the fuel pump inertia, inertia switch switches it off, switches the uh, fuel pump off. So it'll only have enough fuel in the fuel filter to get it like whatever until obviously them speed bumps are just there. So whether it switches this switch off, let's Google it. Fuel pump inertia switch. There's no comments on it. I don't know. It must be under there in it, surely. Bloody hell. Right, I'm just gonna have to treat for all this crap on fucking Google, when I? To find out where this fucking switch off switch is. I had done no to it. To fucking try this truck off. I'm not switching the cunt off now. Yeah, but whatever it was, whatever it was, will be stored in it. Because the engine management light was on and all. That's what I was just going to do. I was just going to jack it up and try the sensors, but fuck it now, I won't switch it off now. Have you got any drink in your cab? 
Didn't realise I had that water down there. Well, I don't know what the crack is that one because I ain't done piss all weird. Apart from checking them fuses and that. Oh, <sighs> struggle bus. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> At least it started. I told you it fixes itself, didn't I? Good old struggle bus. Come on, let's get some inspection. You know that and all, I just tried to get underneath it to check see if the crank sensor was all attached and that. I couldn't even get underneath my own pissing van, look. That's where I got stored up under there, look. Down a bit of a dip now, look. You can get underneath it now, but where it was there, I couldn't even get my body under it. What good is that? Hey. Right, what am I doing now? Doing this. Let's get this done. Freaking iPad, it falls over more times. It's like a pissed iPad. <laughs> it? Spends more time on the floor, this iPad. <laughs> isn't it? It's like a big sail, isn't it? As soon as a bit of wind goes, that's it. iPad just goes, whoa, see ya. Dinted it at all to fuck like car, this iPad. It's going to get battered, isn't it? Thank God my microphone should be at home when I get back. No more Mr. iPad dead. <laughs> oh, fuck off now. You can stay on the floor. I'm not going up again. That's bad practice, look. That's a new tyre, look, running with an old one. And it shouldered it right on the inside there, look. Because obviously it's running uneven, isn't it? You've got to have two of the same tread on the drive axles. Because if you run one tread low and one a brand new tyre, it'll bug your new tyre up. Plus it'll bug the inside tyre up and all, or outside, whichever. It'll just bugger them both up because it's not running level. I'm going to get a tyre for that. It needs a tyre on it and it needs some spring eye bush as well on the back of that. So I'm going to order them now because that's just what I do. What you wouldn't want to do is put that dipstick somewhere accessible, would you? You wouldn't put it under the grill, though, because that'd be a bad idea, wouldn't it? Silly idea, that would be wouldn't it? Imagine doing that. Somewhere where you can actually get it in. That's my next victim. I just thought I stopped the engine, didn't I? That was silly, wasn't it? I hope it freaking starts. All right now. Engine management light's gone off. Fucking thing's just stopped on me now. Oh, told me to check that switch didn't it i couldn't find out on youtube about it so i messaged the lad in one of the comments that seems to know a lot about these and he says it hasn't got them switches on this thing it's all done through the engine ecu so it ain't that is it i just thought to myself i've got fuel in it haven't i yeah i have yeah <laughs> There's a fuel filter down there. I'm just going to take that pipe off there, put the ignition on and see whether it's uh, pumping. Fuel that. No, nothing. Has it got a fuel pump on the tank on this? Unless the fuel filter's bunged up. I'm going to take that pipe off there, look, and do the same thing. No, nothing. No, I can't get under it, can I? What I'm thinking is just put it in gear 
and do the starter and just get it like straddling that bit there look just so i'll have a bit of a a bit of a gully to lay in that's what i think Not the best thing for the starter motor, but still, it's got me uh, into that recess now I'm open. Oh, look how much space I've got now. I've got too much space, surely. Bang my shoulder then, leave that. Come on, see how it works. Well, Goes to the top of the tank, there's an electric plug in there, but I don't know whether that's just for the fucking fuel level. I'm gonna have to get the Google out again, Anna. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've just looked up on the Google, and the first thing that come up is a Mark VI fuel sender, uh, and it's got the pump built into it, obviously. So this one's got the pump built into it. So by rise, it should be pissing out fuel out there when this ignition's on, because it's an electronic pump. So I think I've either lost the uh, electrical supply to that pump, or the actual pumps to fault, isn't it? Uh, I'm struggling to get under there. It's cramped as out. And what I'm going to do, I think, is ring our old man up, get him to tow me back to the yard, because I'm literally only two miles away from the yard. And then I can fuck around with it tomorrow, can't I? Our bird is birthday tomorrow. He can help me. Oh, look at that lot. It's saying it's on for call now. Must be the sender to go and do lap, surely. I might dip the tank while I'm waiting. Oh, and I've got another problem as well. Uh, this van has always been missing its uh, tow eye. You know what I mean? So now I've got to get a strap from the back and tie it under it. While I'm waiting for our road man, that's the job I can be on with, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a bit of fuel in it. Here's our old man now. Like, he was quick, wasn't he? We are right, we're just going to go steady. On time we borrow Time our children To us lend Here today but gone tomorrow, like a Cheers, Dad, don't care. Oh, yeah, I've done a lot of things on that. Not a good one after get towed in, is it? i tell you what I need, a good mechanic, don't you? <laughs> 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 Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, let's look at the goat, put the goat. <laughs> oh my girl! We can see the smelly goat. We don't want the bloody stinky goat. He too smelly. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> I started a fault lift up lot. Oh. Someone pulls. Come on, my girl, push down this van. What's another? It's broken, my girl. Right, guys, catch you on the next one. Uh, Bernie's birthday tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, if you've got any ideas about the struggle bus, I think it's that uh, fuel sender light. It must have a pump in it. I'm open, so anyway. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. Catch you on the next one. Woo woo. Drive this van. It won't start, my girl. The struggle bus is broken. I'm not having much luck today. The mower brought down on me. Just taking our bird for our normal nightly. Uh, cruise around the field and now the vehicle's brought down this one's broke down hasn't it luckily this one is out of fuel though <laughs> right here we go we're going 